What is going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we are talking about one of my favorite budget bourbons. Um, something I forgot about for a while until I finally picked up another bottle and it reminded me how good it is. Old Forester Signature 100. This is really a staple in my bar. Um, I had a bottle of this, drank it really quick, bought another bottle, drank it pretty quick, and then I forgot about it. Um, the Bourbon Junkies actually put out a review of this talked about this as one of their favorite budget bottles. And I can't disagree. When they did that, it was great marketing. I went out and picked up another bottle and it just reminded me how good this is. I love this stuff. Now this is made by Old Forester, 100 proof signature. Now Old Forester has many, many different products. Um, it's honestly probably one of my favorite distilleries. Um, Brown Foreman is the parent company. Brown Foreman um, you know, oversees Woodford, Old Forester. But Old Forester in general, I haven't had a bad Old Forester product that I can remember, honestly. This is 100 proof, part of their normal base product line. So you can find this pretty much anywhere. They have an 86 proof. This is the 100 proof. They have their whole Whiskey Row series, um, which they also include a bottled and bond version, which is 100 proof as well. A little bit different than this as far as flavor profile goes, but this is an excellent whiskey. Let's get into it and start talking about it a little bit. Now, no age statement on this, just the 100 proof. Brown Foreman always has this excellent dark color. Pretty much all their products, even their 86 proof base bourbon, it's just nice and dark. Dark brown, almost to like a mahogany, honestly. If I was looking at it in the glass, I would guess it's push and barrel proof, which is great. Let's go into the, the nose here. So this gives me a lot of nice baking spices immediately on the nose. Brown sugar, a lot of clove, nutmeg, allspice. Always get that signature Old Forester nose, which is to me kind of like a Bananas Foster kind of like a, a banana note. It reminds me a little bit of um, dried bananas. So if you've had dried bananas that you'll buy in the bag at like Costco or some like health food store or something, it reminds me of that note, note a little bit. I also get a lot of chocolate, I guess is how I, how I describe it in, in Old Forester products in general. It's amplified in the Signature 100. It gives you a lot of that great it's almost like a Nestle's powder. Nestle's chocolate milk mix. Let's give it a sip. Cheers. It's like a chocolate banana pudding on the palate. It is. Um, pretty mouth coating. Honestly, you get the barrel notes, you get the baking spices, you get the dessert flavors, as I mentioned with the banana, powdered chocolate, all that's coming through. Um, for being, I mean, this is a $25 bottle, 25 bucks. Let's give another sip here. Nice barrel spice, which if you watch my reviews, you know I'm a big barrel spice guy. I love those notes that come through doesn't taste young at all. Um, you never know with these lower end products from these distilleries, what age stuff they're putting in, if there's no age statement. If I was guessing, I'd say this is right around five to seven years probably for the stuff they're putting in. You don't get any ethanol burn for being 100 proof. Um, it doesn't have that youthful grainy note at all. Very nice flavors come through. Mm. Now that sip kind of tasted like a banana nut bread a little bit. Yeah, almost like a banana nut bread with a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. Man, I got nothing bad to say about this. Um, as I mentioned, about a $25 bottle, available everywhere. This is something you should always have in your collection, in your, in your bar. Um, you should. You just should. It's easy to drink on its own. Because it's 100 proof, it stands up great in cocktails. I have made numerous cocktails with this whiskey. 
And just the Old Forester flavor profile to me, I think is great in cocktails. It almost tastes like every cocktail has a little bit of a dessert twist to it with the notes I mentioned before. So that's why I'm a fan of, of Old Forester anyway. Um, if you have a sweet tooth, it's, <laughs> it's the bourbon for you for sure. Um, if you have not had this yet, I would definitely recommend you pick it up. Uh, other products in the Old Forester line are excellent as well. The 1910 recently has become one of my favorite whiskeys being the double barreled. And the 1920s just always been something I love and something that's great. So you, you can't go wrong with any of these old foresters. You really can't. As I mentioned, I haven't had a bad one. So go out and pick up a bottle. You won't be disappointed. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. If you like these types of videos, please do hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you haven't already, please do consider supporting the Patreon page. Um, I have a lot of great perks and benefits over there. Awesome community and every one of my patrons, thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting what I do. Because of you, I can do things like go on whiskey trips or get new bottles to review for you. So thank you all so much. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite Old Forester product? Have you had the Signature 100? How do you think it compares to the Bottled and Bond 100? Um, there's a pretty good price difference between the two, and I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know what you think of that. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. Stay and say it, everyone.